r slash ask reddit what has not aged well this one episode on the show glee mark selling puck had a line in the show where he said that in the future i'll either be in jail or dead or both for those who don't know mark selling was convicted and found guilty of child pornography then committed suicide also that episode when he was going to make a sex tape but got stopped because then he would have been producing child porn. Yep. I never watched the show. Is this seriously a plot point? Jared Fogel's subway ads. The scene in Super Size Me when Jared is talking to children about his experience. Oh god I watched that this year in my science class. Those shareable Facebook posts saying you are legally proclaiming that Facebook can't use your personal information. People were just sharing one of those type of posts all over Instagram the other day. And so many celebrities shared it. Even young ones. Tom Holland shared it. But he's had a bad week. So I will let this one pass. Babies named Daenerys. A year or so ago the TV news interviewed a lovely young lady in her 20s. Her name is Alexa Siri. Poor thing. Her parents must be prophetic. Edit. Spelling. This reminds me of one of the funniest things I've seen on Australian TV. There's an insurance company here named AAMI, pronounced Amy, and there was a stadium they sponsored named AAMI Park. A journalist was sent to cover a story there on a live TV cross. That journo's name? Amy Parks. Bill Cosby released a book called Come On, People. Later editions erroneously omitted the comma, making it Come On People. In retrospect, that grammatical error may have been a prophetic one. That cover looks like the black light at a crime scene. Matrix parodies. For like two years there it was hard to escape the forced bullet time jokes in most media. The first Shrek even had a Matrix moment. Edit. I'm surprised this comment got many upvotes as it did. TBF Shrek was a bag of references in its entirety, both from tropes of fairy tales, to memes and pop culture. That one time when President Obama was on a late night show reading mean tweets and one of them was from Trump telling him essentially how he was a bad president. Obama told him at least he'd be president. And Trump wouldn't. Implied. Dot. A good comeback at the time but it aged absolutely terribly. Edit. Many people here are referring to a correspondence dinner hosted by the Obama administration as it featured a similar joke. While this too aged badly I am referring to a video posted by Jimmy Kimmel's YouTube channel in October 2016. Thanks Obama. Totally jinxed it. A lot of early internet memes. Especially when you see them used in commercials. Edit. Yep. That sure is a lot of dead memes in my inbox. Especially when animated shows incorporate them. That duck face scene from the fairy odd parents has aged incredibly horribly. Amazing World of Gumball is probably the only animated show that comes close to effectively incorporating contemporary topics memes. There was an interview with Kevin Spacey working with kids and he said he was always looking for the shy kid in the corner. I was just blinded by the balls on that kid. Kevin Spacey. Baby Driver. That episode of Family Guy where Stewie is naked, running away from Kevin Sosi in a mall, years before the Matu scandal, makes me think KS was known for that kind of thing in Hollywood. Tyler Tequila really fell off the bandwagon. I wasn't aware what happened to her, had to look it up and boo oh boy, from Wikipedia, on the 6th of May, 2016. When tweeted that Jewish American political commentator Ben Shapiro should be gassed and sent back to Israel and later posted that there are only two things in this world, for which I would gladly sacrifice my own life, the destruction of all Jews and preservation of the white race and you know what will help Asians earn respect, an Asian version of Adolf Hitler, I want that person to be me, I want to save the world from this Zionist disease, in June 2016. Tyler Tequila accused Sarah Silverman and the Jews of killing Jesus before saying the comedian was next on a celebrity sacrifice list. On November 19, 2016, she attended an alt-right National Policy Institute meeting celebrating the election of Donald Trump, organized by white supremacist Richard B. Spencer, and posted photos on social media of herself doing a Nazi salute. One was posted to Twitter with the text Sieger Heil, comma sick and a raised hand emoji, comma raised hand, on November 22, 2016, 
Her account was suspended by Twitter. Consequently, she joined Gab. HTTPS colon slash slash EN M Wikipedia or Wiki Gab Social Network Edit Oof Just spent way too much time on her very active YouTube channel. This is the weirdest shit I've seen in a while. It's like looking at a car crash where you know you are not supposed to stare but for some reason your eyes just can't look away. Jesus Christ I could have lived without knowing Tyler Tequila went from reality TV star to porn star to Asian neo-Nazi in less than a decade. People who don't wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen kids. Or you could sit inside in front of a computer instead. Can't get sun damage if you never get sun. Go to make sure you're in a dark basement though. You still get UV exposure through windows. For something that aged poorly really quickly, political comedy from just before the 2016 presidential election. Semi recently I was hanging out with some friends and there was an SNL rerun from that October. And every single Trump reference is just dripping with a Trump is a joke and won't win attitude that it is tough to watch. A lot of stand-ups avoid politics in their specials because it usually doesn't age well regardless of circumstance. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Like late night shows that have to keep it topical. I refuse to watch any late night talk shows or SNL still because all jokes monologues are still just tired Trump's an idiot shit. The man is obscene, offensive, and doesn't know when to shut up. All points to being an idiot. It's almost been 4 years now and it's still all they can say. The writers all suck and so do the actually talk show hosts actors because they get to make suggestions. They have somewhat of a say in it. Comedy has degraded so much in the past 4 years and it's so tiring. CGI from 90s films. The CGI on Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park still looks great now but anything else just looks crap. Anaconda had some awful CGI. And script. I think that Jurassic Park aged well partly because its creators understood the limitations that they were working with in 1993. Honestly, newer movies that overuse CG in an attempt to wow people age a lot worse. Avatar is probably the best example that I can think of. It was publicized for how amazing it looked in 2009. And Call of Duty, Black Ops made a big deal of using the same motion capture technology a year later. By 2014, when I watched it the second time, it already looked dated. Realism in CGI always has a shelf life. Compare Morrowind and Mario Sunshine. Both released in 2002 on consoles with broadly similar specifications. Which one looks better now? It definitely isn't the one that tried to be as realistic as possible. There's a commercial featuring Bill Cosby about PPL going to jail. There's an episode of the Cosby show where he drugs his barbecue sauce so a bunch of teenagers fall in love. He also had a comedy bit on one of his old bestseller albums from the 60s about using Spanish fly on women by drugging their drinks. Which in my understanding is some kind of insect extract that was used as an aphrodisiac drug back in the day. Bit of a Brit thing but Punch and Judy puppet shows. Punch is an alcoholic who beats up Judy for the entertainment of kids. Frowned upon nowadays. I mean, if you're going with British children's entertainment, there's the entire work history of Jimmy Savile. Or Gary Glitter, Stuart Hall and Rolf Harris. Career advancement. Working your way up from the mailroom is long gone. You have to switch companies to get any sort of significant raise. When you put in your notice for the switch they try to keep you by offering a raise. Always pissed me off more because why am I now worth more? You should have been proactive and I never would have been looking elsewhere. Oh, you're thinking about leaving? That's a shame. We were going to give you a promotion and a hefty raise starting tomorrow. Some companies just don't appreciate their employees until they're thinking about leaving. The food pyramid. What? I don't have to eat 8 loaves of bread. 14 eggs, 66 apples, a whole turkey, and a golden triangle full of oil each day. Sugar, fat, salt, chocolate and alcohol. I fail to see the problem. What makes the red man red from Disney is Peter Pan. Yikes. Edit. I appreciate the silver. Wasn't really expecting it. How about Song of the Roustabouts from Dumbo? Hike. Ugh. Hike. Ugh. Hike. Ugh. Hike. We work all day, we work all night, we never learn to read or write, we're happy hearted roustabouts hike, ugh, hike, ugh, hike, ugh, 
Hike. When other folks have gone to bed we slave until we're almost dead we're happy hearted roust about hike. Ugh. Hike. Ugh. Hike. Ugh. Hike. We don't know when we get our pay and when we do. We throw our pay away we get our pay when children say with happy hearts. It's circus day today. And the minstrel crow named Jim. AIDS. The diet candy. The top comment on YouTube is gold. In 1984 they changed the name to Ebola. Most sitcoms. All you needed back in the day was a child actor with a catchphrase that was part of a non-nuclear family and you basically had a license to print money. Now they are borderline unwatchable. Say the line. But. What you talking about Willis? The episode of Seinfeld where Elaine is dating a guy who shares a name with a murderer. He keeps getting mistaken for him so she gets him to change his name. She picks up a sports magazine and is trying to find a name for him in there, and comes up with OJ Simpson. She was referring to, the episode was from 93, the murders happened 94. Honestly, that sounds like it'd be even funnier today. Actually age really well. Those lol meme xd movies that used to come out targeted to teenagers, such as epic movie, meet the spartans, etc. Due to them parodying things that were relatively current at the time, such as the leave Britney Spears alone, YouTube video, they didn't even survive a few months. Age well, they were shit to begin with. Fun fact, the writers producers admitted that they based all the references to other movies on the trailers for those movies so they could release closer to the movies they spoofed. The 300 parody when Leonidas kept kicking people into the well of death was pretty ducking hilarious though. The rest of that movie was terrible. Any reference to Hillary Clinton becoming the first female president in shows and movies see remember there was an entire episode on Rory writing an essay about Hillary Clinton then finding out everyone else wrote an essay about how Hillary Clinton inspired them in Gilmer Girls. Even as a democrat, I'm like yikes. In Britain there's a big televised New Year's Eve party every year called Jules Holland's Hootenanny. They had a psychic on there who gives predictions for the coming year and the year of the first Obama election. The supposedly famous lauded psychic said, Hillary Clinton, next president of the United States. No one has ever talked about it, but ducked if they ever hired that psychic again. Oblivion's graphics he love more rewind, but the potato faces in Ted IV seriously throw me off. It wouldn't be so bad if the camera wasn't shoved up the nose of whatever NPC you're talking to. I think that's honestly the biggest issue with it, especially when you sleep in game and wake up with some a-hole from the Dark Brotherhood starting a conversation. The scariest thing in the game that, I wonder if there is a mod for a Skyrim-like dialogue camera. Taking Andrew Luck in a fantasy draft yesterday afternoon. Older TV shows that joke about psychologists and don't take them seriously. I'm looking at you Gilmer Girls. Ugh. Such a toxic trope. What, you want me to go to a shrink and pay him to tell me what I already know? No. That's not how this works. Edit. Yes. Some therapists suck. But so do doctors of other specialities. The profession itself is still highly important. There is a mental health crisis going on and a lot of people need professional help. Minions. They used to be these kinda cute, one-off characters in a decent movie, then once Illumination realized they can beat minions to death and back and still make hundreds of millions, they just focused on minions and only minions. My kid may have been a very influential member of their focus group. R slash funny seriously though, jokes these days over there are terrible reposts from Facebook, even screenshots of funny comments from Facebook get upvoted to the top. Whatever happened to r slash funny from a couple of years ago where any kind of screenshot would get downvoted into oblivion. Don't forget r slash pics which seems to just be a place for people to upload their personal photos with shitty backstories. All the acceptance speeches thanking Weinstein. The whole cousins thing they pulled in the English dub of Sailor Moon back in the day with Hiruka and Michiru, named Amara and Michelle in the dub. Who were originally written as a lesbian couple. I know that lesbian couples in a kids show would have been a big deal at the time that it came out. But looking back now, they really did a piss poor job at trying to make their relationship not seem romantic while also claiming they were related. They really succeeded in turning them into an incestuous couple instead. Mayo, this video always gets me. 
Donatello Versace honestly. I think she now technically qualifies as a vintage leather bag. Pro Jared divorce jokes most upvotes I ever got. Broken marriage slash 10. Anti-vax kids. What has not aged well? That grilled cheese I intended to take to work last winter and I just found in an old backpack in the back of my closet. The Japanese landlord in breakfast at Tiffany's. Early 2000s boob jobs. Survivorship bias you only notice the poorly done boob jobs. I don't know why I thought a link called survivorship bias would have pictures of bad boob jobs, but I clicked. Who gives platinum to a common ass credit thread after 30 minutes? Yeah this question gets posted at least once a week. The top comments always mention Bill Cosby. Andrew Luck sorry Colts fans. And yet, by retiring, he's making it far more likely that he will age well. Dane Cook. Much of America's crumbling, deteriorated infrastructure hasn't aged well, decaying bridges, roads, rail lines and railroad cars, water delivery systems that still use lead piping, inadequate highways that are poorly maintained, electric grids, etc. Tribe Tattoos. It is I who hasn't aged well. This flight simulator ad from 2000 went sour quick. Revenge of the Nerds. There are a lot of movies from that era that are just appalling now. The blatant rape in nerds is pretty bad though. Our AIM screen names from 6th grade. Imagine if we did something stupid like make that our reddit name or something. My mother-in-law gave me a copy of Bill Cosby's fatherhood when my first son was born. She actually meant well. Turns out Bill Cosby's advice on any subject seems suspect. All these animated films TV shows that depict African Americans in a really offensive way, it's really disgusting to look at nowadays. Plus there are companies like Disney that have just censored any racial stereotypes in their old films and pretended like it never happened. At least do what Warner Bros did or put a disclaimer at the beginning that it was a product of its time and even though it's offensive, one shouldn't try to censor the past. F7U12 memes. Even looking back on the ones I saved or shared, they're awful. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.